Happy June 14th, Flag Day, Lenny Besterman's Sarasota Experience. We're down here at the north end of Siesta Key, and this location at the Old Pier is where they have a ceremony every night to lower the flag. The beach is beautiful, it's very busy, and we're going to go walk up and down it to take a look at everything. So. We'll see you in a minute. Like and subscribe also. All right. I want to thank today's sponsors. Sponsor. Beachside Management. When you're on Siesta Key, make sure you give them a call. We parked at their private house right on the water. They have locations all over the key. Make sure you consider them when you're coming to Siesta Key and tell them Sarasota Experience sent you. And thank you, Beachside Management. Have a great day. All right, so here's the situation. This is the North Siesta Key Beach. And it ends up this pier right here, which you can also see from the drone footage, is an awesome place to come every night at sunset. They lower the flag and have an awesome ceremony. Very, very neat. If you follow this road right here, which is Avadina Messina. It takes you right into the Siesta Key Village. And um, it's not that far from the restaurants and bars, right over in that area, right there. So if you have a chance, come down here. It's every single night. It's a great ceremony. It's an awesome place to hang out on the beach. Very difficult to find parking here. I happen to use a private driveway of somebody I knew. That's why I'm here. But this is a great, uh, great time. We've talked about this before. They also have the drum circle on Sunday nights only. But this ceremony here is every Sunday. I'm sorry, every day. And it is absolutely worth it whether you live here or your vacation here. There's all kinds of different boats out there today. And just an awesome, awesome, beautiful beach day. The drone footage that you're looking at that is in this video was filmed today. And I've been filming drone around here for a long time. We just got about nine inches of rain, which I thought would really make the water mucky. It is absolutely beautiful. Very surprised at how clear it is. With that being said, I did see some seaweed on Lido Beach this week and also uh, some seaweed uh, on this beach. And when you do see it, it does have a smell to it. So that's unfortunate, but it's not real bad. I personally have not seen it today. My wife and kids were here Tuesday and they did see it. And when they did see that seaweed, it had a stink to it. I don't know why, but that's pretty common. So Siesta Key Beach, we talk about this all the time, four different beaches. We're standing on the very north end. It goes down to the main beach, Crescent Beach, Turtle Beach, and uh, Siesta Key is ranked the top beach in the country every year almost by TripAdvisor. It's 2020 and this year it was ranked again the top beach in the country. Just an awesome place to come. The Sarasota Bradenton area. You've got those four, those keys and even Venice. You start down off down in Venice and Englewood, which is South Sarasota. And then you come up through Siesta Key, Casey Key's just south, Lido Key, Longboat Key, Anna Maria Island, and that is the west coast of Florida, Sarasota, Bradenton, and surrounding areas that I like to talk about. Phenomenal stuff. We have uh, just, there's always something to do. Unfortunately, with what's going on with the health crisis, a lot of things have been canceled, but there's always some kind of outdoor activity, something free to do. You really need to check on to see what's normal again and what's not. I have an opportunity opportunity tonight, actually, to check out Nick Walinda and his Daredevil uh, show that is at Benderson Park. That starts at 5 o'clock. I'm meeting somebody tonight. We're going to go check that out, hopefully get some film. And I think that's really going to be a great opportunity, but things like that. All the time are around Sarasota, Bradenton, and you should really take advantage of that when you're in the area. If you live here, 
share the post out make sure you like and subscribe you'll also see hopefully a card that shows my siesta key beach is open video from the main beach the first weekend after the pandemic allowed people to come on the beach that was uh about a month ago this is the middle of june uh, that was in the middle of may so hopefully you get a chance to come on out get out here take a long walk on the beach if you have all day start at the north end and end up at turtle beach if you can that'll be a very long trip i advise you to see how long it is i do not even know happy flag day to you this is uh june 14th in united states of america made flag day flag day and i believe uh 1777 i did google it i do not remember exactly the date but today is a special day for this country. In my opinion, that flag means a lot. It represents a lot of sacrifice for our freedoms. And just remember that. So I hope everybody's well. Lenny Besterman, Sarasota Experience. Make sure you like and subscribe. Ring the bell. Copy the link and send it to a friend that you want to show the Siesta Key area to. I hope you're well. Have a great day. And if you see me on the beach, make sure you say hello. Have a great day, everybody.